public math. I'll teach you. I'm going to teach you linear equations. What's that? Well, when you have a problem, it all comes back to y equals mx plus b. This is the most important thing you'll need for math. What do the, what do the letters stand for? Well, m stands for slope, and b stands for y intercept. In this case, I'm going to give you a problem where I give you the letter M and the letter B. And that way, you can find out what Y equals. In this case, M will equal 4 and B will equal 6. Keep that in mind. We'll need that later. Now I'm going to plug in 4 for M and 6 for B. So, Y would equal to 4 x 6 and there you have your final equation what if you're given x y and m well if m equals 4 y equals 2 and x equals 6 you do the same thing you just plug it in x equals 4 times 2 plus b in this case, we're trying to find what b equals, so we can go ahead and plug it all back in. Since 6 equals 4 times 2, you need to find that equation. 4 times 2, do you know what that is? 8. Good. 6 equals 8 plus b. Now, you have to subtract 8 from both sides. You do this to cross out the 8. But when you do to one side, you have to do to both. A positive 8 plus a negative 8 equals a 0. What's 6 minus 8? Negative 2. So negative 2 equals b. Then you can plug that back into the original equation. Exactly. Because you have your b and your x and m. So you do y equals 4x minus 2. And there you have it. What happens if you're given b and x, y? Good. Here's an example. y will equal to 4, x is equal to 2, and b is equal to 8. So you're looking for the slope here. Exactly. m is slope. So here, we'll plug it all in, just like we always do. 4 is y, which is equal to m, which is the number we're finding out, x is 2 plus 8. Do you know what we do next? You multiply across. Exactly. 4 equals 2m plus 8. Now, you have to do the same thing you did on the other one. You have to put a negative 8 here and a negative 8 here. You get rid of this 8. What's 4 minus 8? Negative 4. Exactly. Negative 4 equals 2m. And then you divide both sides by 2. Good. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Do you know what a negative 4 divided by 2 is? A negative 2. So this negative 2 equals m. Now you have your m. You can plug it back in now. y equals negative 2x plus 8. See how easy this is getting? This one, you're giving x1 and y1, x2 and y2. These here are called linear pairs. You'll learn about that later. All you need to know right now is x1 is equal to 4, y1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to 6, y2 is equal to 8. Are these example numbers? Yeah. Now we have to find the slope. That's m, right? Exactly. So to do that, we use our x1, y1, x2, and y2. Now you have to subtract y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Can you fill that in for me? Let's see. 8 minus 2 over 6 minus 4. Great. So what's 8 minus 2? 6. 
And six minus four? Two. Perfect. This right here is our slope, otherwise known as m. We found our m, but now we have to reduce. To reduce, you have to divide six by two. Can you tell me what that is? Three. Perfect. So really, your m is equal to three. Now we go back to our first linear pairs. Those were four, two, six, eight. You only really need one. Can you choose which one you want to use? I'll pick six and eight. Great. So we're going to get rid of the four and the two. Six and eight both stand for something. Can you tell me what they are? I think six is x and maybe eight is y. Yeah. Six is x and eight is y. Now, next, we plug it all back in. Eight equals three, six plus B. Can you guess what we're trying to find in this equation? Maybe the y-intercept, which is B. Perfect. So, you have, to div you have to multiply here 3 times 6. That's equal to 18 plus B. So, 8 equals 18 plus B. Do you remember from the first video what we're supposed to do now? Maybe subtract 18 from both sides. Exactly. So, you do negative 18 and a negative. Exactly. 8 minus 18 equals negative 10. This crosses out, so B equals negative 10. Now, the last and most important step. You plug it all back in. You have your Y equal to your 3X minus 10. And there is your final equation. Thanks for teaching me linear equalities. You passed your test. Now you can be a superhero too. Now that I'm a superhero, I'll teach you a math problem. There are many different ways to solve linear equations. You can graph them, use substitution, or elimination. When we're given two equations in a graph, we're trying to find where the two equations intersect on the line. I was given y equals negative 2x plus 5 and y equals x plus 2. These out so that you could see where they meet. This line represents y equals negative 2x plus 5. You know it's a negative equation because the line is going down. This line represents y equals x plus 2, and it's a positive line going up. Both equations met in the middle at point 1, 3. I was given two equations here. The second method we're going to use is solving linear equations with graphing, sort of like the first one, except this first equation doesn't look similar. The normal formula is y equals mx plus b, but this is not set up the right way. We need to fix this equation. 6x plus 2y equals 20. In order to put the y first, we have to subtract the 6. Remember, we need to bring the 6x over to this side. We're going to take 6x away from this side and move it to the other side. I'm now left with y equals negative 3x plus 10. That's my new equation. Now we replace that old equation with y equals negative 3x plus 10. Here is our graph, and as you can see, I finally graphed both points. This line is y equals negative 3x plus 10. You obviously know it's a negative line because it's sloping down. This line is going up, y equals x minus 2. And you know that because it's going up. Exactly, and both points cross at 3, 1. This is how we're going to start to learn substitution. Let's say we're given two equations, y equals 2x and 3x plus 4y equals 22. Let's see the steps we'll have to go through to solve that. What's the first step? We know that y is equal to 2x. Let's look for y in this equation. The point of substitution okay. is that we want to substitute this number into this equation. So let's write out this equation, substituting this inside the old one. We would understand that we would say 3x plus 4, and now we need to plug in something for y. y is equal to 2x. So plug in 2x for y equals 22. We're going to now multiply through. 3x we keep plus 4 times 2x. So 3x we keep plus, what's 4 times 2x? 8x, good job, equals 22. Now we're going to combine like terms. What's 3x and 8x? Um, 11x. Good job, 11x equals 22. That's by 11 equals 2. Good job, Sarah. We now know that x in our equation is 2. 
we're able to now plug the x back into the original equation. One of our original equations in this problem was y equals 2x. What was x before, Sarah? 2. Good. We know in our head that x equals 2. To see if this equation works, we're going to plug it in. 2 times 2 equals 4. y equals 4. And look, just by doing that, we're able to find out that what y equals. And now we can even check y. We can plug 4 into the original equation. We can see 4 equals 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 equals 4. So we did this equation correctly. Mm -hmm. Here's one example. 5x plus y equals 9, and 10x minus 7y is 18. We want to find the number's lowest, lowest common denominator that works for these equations. Let's plan on canceling out the top equation. We're able to do this by multiplying it by 2 so that it'll equal the bottom. 10 and 5 are equal because 2 times 5 is 10. So we are able to cancel out the x's by multiplying the top by 2. We're able to do this by writing it out again. 2 times 5x is 10x. 2 times y is 2y. 2 times 19 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18, sorry. And then we can plug in the bottom. 10x minus 7y equals 18. The 10 x's, we finally got them to reach the same number and the same sign. They're now able to be canceled out. Same sign means subtract. We cross these out. Now what we need to do is we need to do 2 minus 7y. We are now going to get 9. This now results in 9y equals 18 plus 18 is 36. y equals 4. Now know that y equals 4, and we can plug that into an original equation. One of the original equations was 5x plus y equals 9. We know that, that 4 is y, so 5x plus 4 equals 9. We subtract 4 from both sides. We then get 5x equals 5. 5 and 5, so we divide each side by 5, and we get x equals 1. We now know x and y for our equation, and we're done. I'm a superhero, I'll teach you a math problem. Now that I'm a superhero, I'll teach you a math problem. <laughs> I literally can't breathe.